Yes. The R3 Cup is an entry level racing series uh, designed to pr uh, provide uh, a supportive um, race class for entry level riders to come into. Um, the, one of the key concepts is to provide experienced people to support the new competitors. Um, ra racing, ro road racing in particular, can be a very daunting sport to get into for people. There's a lot of lot to know about bikes, setup, preparation, but then also little things about how does the race meeting run, how many spare parts do I need, what tyre pressures do I need to run, what time do I need to be at the track, um, what happens with the weather changes, all these little things. Um, so the key concept about having a support team with the race centre uh, Yamaha R3 Cup support team is that we provide spare parts back up for the, for the competitors. We also provide them that mentoring and guidance so that when things get stressful or hectic, we're dealing with the stress and the, and, and the chaos rather than the competitor. So they can be free to just go out and ride in a fun, enjoyable environment. So it's been quite uh, a lot of work, in the especially the first round, getting people set up. Um, but that's to be expected when people are new to the sport. But we've got through that and um, every time I think uh, it shows that the competitors are very happy to have somebody to support it. Just to ask a question and sometimes it's an easy answer but being there to answer the question is probably the best value we provide them. So that was actually my first ever race. So it was pretty, pretty an amazing experience. Uh, the guys here, Darren and the boys, fitted me up with a bike this morning. First time I saw the bike was actually this morning. So it's been a, a baptism of fire. So it's a bit of a project we're going through to show just how easy it is to get involved in this series. So I'm a big guy, it's a little bike. But I was, only, I was here to have a lot of fun and I certainly did. So first race under my belt, that was certainly an experience. But uh, yeah, looking forward to getting out there and having another couple and see if I can keep a few of the other guys in sight. Oh, it's, it's really good. You know, it's, it's awesome just to get out here and get to try it. It's the first time I've ever done road racing. This is the second race and just yeah, absolutely loving it. And with all the help that they're giving us, it's, you know, it's really guiding us in the right direction to, to go faster each time. Yeah, look, I had a great day. Uh, the rain did sort of uh, upset me a little bit because I like the dry a bit more but uh, look it was it was great to have the time on the bike and the Yam Yamaha's uh, really provided a great package with this and uh, Pirelli have provided great tyres and I'm, I'm really stoked to come away with the, the number one for the round it's evens up the points a bit and uh, hopefully in a few weeks time up in Queensland we'll be uh, in, the, in the front. The weekend went good. Um, we won the first race uh, by just over a second, I think, which was good. It was in the dry. Um, the second race was, was quite wet, and uh, I pushed as hard as I could, but I didn't quite have the speed. But uh, yeah, I'm just taking the win and uh, move, move forward for the next time. Yeah, round three of ASBK here at Eastwood Creek went great for me. Um, second place in both races. Yeah, the first race this morning in the dry was awesome between me and Wayne. Um, you know, there was nothing in it, and race two was wet and um, changing conditions started raining again halfway through the race and I just didn't feel like I had the grip to go with him I nearly high sided a couple of times so uh, I was just trying to get as many points in the bank as possible we move on to WA for the next round which I've got the lap record there I love the place it's an awesome track for me it's just an awesome place to race so I can't wait to ride the Yamaha at uh, Wanneroo. Yeah look today was uh, an amazing day for me on the Yamaha 1M to win the first race and be as consistent as we were and have the pressure from Glenn the whole race uh, it was a great feeling you know when you're riding that well at the limit uh, but you don't step over and make a mistake like we did last round it's a great feeling and then you know the uh, sky opened up for race two and uh, to go out there in such tricky conditions and uh, put on a you know a display like we did it's a, it's a fantastic feeling and uh, when things are going your way they just go on your way so super pumped to claw some points back after uh, the mistake at Wakefield Park and you know we were now roll on to Perth which is a bit more similar to Wakefield Park and I know Glenn's super strong there so um, you know there's him and all the other guys so we just keep the pressure on and uh, you know just keep doing what we're doing hopefully the results keep coming.